So a side of you I don't recognize And every time you said you had me you was telling me lies All this money made these bad bitches wanna show love Every time I ever needed you you never showed up I'm in the city in the foreign and I'm doing donuts Say I'm famous taking pictures and they want them closer mm. And I come back for you my nigga you got bad trace If I see the blue lights I end up in the car chase Every time I think about my shirt it makes my heart ache If you could look into my soul you see the heart break Granny tried to get me to church before she died Sometimes I'll be feeling her presence She alive sometimes Yo Mula gang, just to let you know quickly The raffle for the PS5 and Call of Duty Is coming to an end in 5 days So if you want to get yourself a raffle Go to the link below and join I'll be coming to your house with all the mandem We'll be setting up the PS5 in your house And we'll be holding little vibes You'll be a part of the vlog, we'll be vlogging it And it's all cheap And you're more likely, and I hope that you are the winner Yeah, you, I'm talking to you you yeah so go and get your voucher it's the link below just buy it and you're good to go peace yo Mula gang what's popping boom your boy is back in the cut hey today i'm back with friday stories yeah Mula juice story time yeah yeah we're back in the cut today's one is a bit of a mad one yeah my my friend's girlfriend is stalking me yeah she's baby mom now whatever she is but she won't stop stalking me. She's been stalking me for like three, four years. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment below. Check the link in the description to check out my new music video. I'd appreciate it. It's called Mula Juice Show Love. But yeah, let's get straight into this video. Oh yeah, make sure you're following and subscribe to my Twitch. Let's go. This story I'm about to tell you guys, this one here is a deeper one, yeah? So I hope you guys taking everything I'm saying. This woman's been stalking me for about four to five years. No, three to four years, yeah? So I'm gonna try my best to remember as much as I can, but just work with your boy. Big up yourself as well. So I met this woman in about 2015. I'll say about around 2015 I met her, yeah? And when I met her, yeah, we was talking, but I'll tell you how it all started. So basically, oh, how do we get into this? So basically I was driving around one time, yeah? And I bumped into her. When I bumped into her, I tried to get her attention. She's like, oh, if you see me around next time, then maybe, cool. So uh, next time, she's like, if I bump into her again, then she's going to give me her number. It's like, cool. So a uh, third time now, yeah? So this third time I see her, I finally got her number. When I got her number, I obviously contacted her. We spoke. We was getting along. It was, it was vibes. Do you get it? It was vibes. It was good vibes. So anyway, you know, like when you get to know someone, obviously, get me to talk to them a bit, whatnot. We was talking. Um... You get me went out to eat a couple times. It was just vibes. It was always just vibes and banter. And she had a TT at the time, innit? Yeah. So when she had this TT, like we were swapped cars. I had my A class. Um, at the time, I think I was 19, and yeah, I was about 19, 20, and she was 25. I think she was about 25, 26, or something like that. Oh, I can't remember. I think she was like 20 or 24. One of them, anyway. I can't remember exactly. Yeah. We was talking, whatnot, and then we just had them normal nights, you know what I mean? Chilling in the car, you have conversation, loads of banter. Um, the most we really ever did, yeah, was just kiss. So we finally like, had a, a situation where we obviously was in the house. We didn't even we didn't even have no sex, none of that stuff happened, yeah. So after that, obviously I've had my daughter Taya after that. Then obviously gone our separate ways, I've had Taya. Then she's obviously met my my bro. She's ended up in a relationship with him and she's had a kid with him now. So both of our kids are around the same age, basically, yeah? So I've left her, so I'm thinking like, we ain't done nothing. Bearing in mind, I had sex with her, I ain't done nothing. I ain't gave her the magic stick, nothing. To get me nothing. I ain't made her feel nothing. I ain't digged it and get me. I ain't done nothing with her. Just kiss, hug, talk, that's it. One, two meals, that's it. So it might be better stuff I'm missing, but it's all relevant. So obviously now that's happened, and um, out of nowhere, someone on Snapchat pops up. And I'm like, oh, who's that? Boom, talking to her. What well, go on? Long time. She's talking to me. I'm like, yeah, long time, man. And I remember this clearly. I was away. And she was she was stressing about something. And I was like, yeah, well, cool. Let's jump on a call. Jumped on a call. I'm like, no, I think it'll be alright. Having a conversation with her and all that. Like, seeing how things are getting on with her, with her boyfriend or well, baby father at the time now. So when I got back from Vegas, now this was three years ago, yeah? I was in Vegas. So when I got back from Vegas, she thought like, okay, cool, like we're building something again. I was I don't know what she thought, but it wasn't that. I was just literally just seeing if she was okay. I wasn't leading her on nothing. Anyway now, so she keeps on contacting me and I'm thinking, what's wrong with this girl? Like, leave me alone. Like, I'm saying to her, okay, cool, like, leave me alone now. Like, I'm good, innit? Like, I'm over here, I'm good. Obviously, I've had Theo now. 
And then um, after about a year later, I've had Theo. She's still on to me. Like, she won't leave me alone. Like, she won't. And it's my brethren's baby mum. That's what jars me even more. So I've said to him, like, bro, tell your girl to leave me alone. Like, she don't want to leave me alone. So it's got to the point now she's on me all the time now, sending me nudes, sending me videos of herself, doing mad things. Telling me she loves me, we're, what's it, spiritually connected and we are the same flames or something like that and we're soulmates and all this mad stuff she was telling me. And I'm saying to her, listen, I have zero, zero love for you. Why do you feel like I have any love for you? Like, I don't get why she thinks this. So she's been literally stalking me for like three to four years, like messaging me all the time. She never leaves me alone. I've tried everything to get her to leave me alone. I've blocked about a hundred snaps, which I'm about to show you. Um, I've, 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 I'm about to show you bare messages from her. Um, I've blocked uh, WhatsApps. I've done, I've done Instagram. I've done everything I possibly can do to get rid of this female. I've done. So it, this gets deeper. This is just the beginning of it now, yeah? So she's always on to me. She won't leave me alone. She won't give me my own time. So she believes to herself that I love her. So when I had my, sh my food shop, Bagel Bros, she came there and basically I was on Instagram Live and she tried to bang me in my face. Like she tried, like she literally tried. Like I had to back up like, bro, what are you doing? So I've cut the live now. Then man's gonna, I'm saying to her, come outside the shop, man. Cause like this man's business, like what are you doing? Like gone outside now, talking to me. But I'm standing in a distance. I'm standing far from her like she got corona. Like, I'm telling her, listen, that's our distance. Like, I don't want to be close to you. I'm making sure the camera's there. Yeah, but that's where we're standing. So, cool, we're standing there now. I was talking, tell me you love me and I will go. I'm saying, what? I'm saying, I don't love you. Why would I tell you that? She said, just tell me you love me and I will leave. I'm saying, but I don't love you. What is the point of me telling you something that is not real? I don't love you. So... She's telling me now, oh, you do love me. You do love me. You're just lying to yourself. Stop lying to yourself. I'm saying, how am I lying to myself? Like, bearing in mind, I've even got Mother K, which is the mother of my kid. I've even got Mother K to talk to her. She's still not listening. Like, this woman generally believes that I love her. So I've said to her, listen, leave me alone. So I said, she sent me nudes, sent me everything. I've sent the nudes to her boy, her baby father. He's not even with her no more. He's saying that I think she needs help. And it's not even me being rude, but I think she generally needs help. She's telling everyone, like her mum, because her baby first spoke to her mum, and her mum said that I'm the one that won't leave her alone. And I'm like, this don't even make sense. I'm trying to get rid of her. How, how am I not the one leaving her alone? I'm trying to get rid of her. But she won't go. So let me show you now. So this is bam. I've been going through it for long, so long. It's just driving me mad. I've done everything, as I said. So, So, where is it? Uh, how do you find blocks on snap blocked block 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 so cool this is all of her this is all her look this is literally all her look all of these accounts that have been blocked it's literally her literally all of these is her all of them i'm not lying to you yeah this is all her. She'll use my real name and my middle name and last name and mix it around. Look, she got dickhead2176, dickhead7821. Uh, um, she's got, fucking hell, this is not even English. Crazy, re 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 relax. She's got, um, bro, some of these are not even, it's FDRG, Joe. Like, some of these ain't even flipping words. It's just bare bullshit. She just typed. H G R Y U H H H H H R T D, fucking it's Rico B fucking, bruv, she's got everything, L I L I L I L I L I L J L J two nine eight L J L J three two three one, like bruv, she's letting Snapchat pick her name for her basically. That's what she's doing. She's fucked. She needs help. I'm telling you, she needs help. She's got pussy. <laughs> she look. She got my name with 2055, um, another name with, my name again with 3043, my name again with 5177, my name again with 5984, bruv, there's like bare of them. She's got fucking, bruv, there's so much. There's, look, Muli, she got Mula 6874. There's just so much. Like, just fuck off, leave me alone. There's so many. So now I'm gonna show you, look, I'm not gonna show you no nudes, innit? But she sent me nudes as I got them on my phone. 
And if you don't want to think I'm lying, cool, so be it. I'm not going to prove myself by pitting news of somebody else out, give her a reason to get me nicked. I'm trying to stay away from that. So, as I said, I've done everything. The only one thing I haven't done, like I said, I can't do is I haven't pit a, um, what do you call them things? I know you're already saying it. Um, is it a lawsuit? No, no. It's a thing where you got to make them stay away from you. you stay over there, I stay here. Um, not probation, um, not a bounty. Um, oh, I can't remember, man. You just comment below. I know you know. So basically, I want to put a standing order. I don't know what the hell it's called. I want to put one of those things on her where you tell the police there's someone that won't leave me alone. She's stalking me. And then you basically go back to them and let them know that she ain't leaving you alone. That's the only thing I haven't done yet. And I don't really want to do that because obviously, man's not with the whole police thing. And not only that, it's a thing for me where it's like, if I do that, she might try and make up some lies about me. I don't know. But it's good that I'm even doing this video now. So this is my evidence and proof. And she just sends me paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraphs. And you're about to see some of them right now. So let me take you through these paragraphs now. So it's so good. I bet you that there's a snap from her now because she sent me a snap yesterday. And I literally just replied, please leave me alone. I try not to ever reply. So I was just like, please just leave me alone. So this is what she sent me so far. Yeah, Look, she sent me this. Listen to this. There's never going to be the right last words to say to you. And I said, and I said, leave. This is one of her accounts here. This is just one of them. Look, look. I said, leave me, big man ting. So that's that. That's that one here. This is just one of her snaps. Yeah. So boom. This is the other snap. Now look at this. I left all these messages for you to see from five hours ago. Look, look. Make sure it's clear on the camera. Yeah. Shake my head, joke man. Oh, is that it? Okay, cool. Normally she'll send me bear like one after another after another after another. It'd be like, oh, you're my soul flame. Oh, I love you. Oh, you don't love me. Oh, you don't care for me. Oh, this, oh, that. Yeah? That's what she'll be doing all the time, literally. But yeah, so basically, guys, long story short, it's been a woman that's been stalking me for about three to four years. And the whole point of me giving you these story times is to make you guys learn from my mistakes. Yeah? If somebody's going to be stalking you, make sure you keep every form of information they are sending you so you have it in case they try to do something against you, yeah? Make sure you save all the videos, all the pictures, all the messages and make sure that if you are going to report it, obviously, which I ain't doing, if you're going to report, make sure you report and make sure you have all the evidence there to report it. Make sure it's all facts. No one don't shouldn't be out here lying and making up things. Keep it all real and authentic. Now, this is about the woman that is my friend's baby mum. She's literally been stalking me for a very long time. And I just feel like I'm at this point of like, I'm doing these story times. I thought, right, let me share this because this is something that really does bother me and it annoys me every day that I've got to deal with it. And I've even tried to tell her mum. I've told her baby father. I've told my cousin, which is like close with them as well. Like I've literally tried to talk to everyone that I possibly know around her about I've even got to the point where I'm asking for her mum's number to ring her mum to set her mum straight because her mum seriously believes that I won't leave her daughter alone when that is not the case. And I just want her to just leave me alone and just stop contacting me. Like she just won't stop. And the maddest thing about it is because I'm already on social media, it's hard for me to get away from her. You know, normally you could just change your number, change your snap or something and you're good to go. That is not the case in this situation. Because I'm already out there So she can find me Everywhere Everywhere She's already done WhatsApp She's done Snapchat She's done Instagram I think Even Facebook Oh my days She literally done everything she can do I might have missed out a lot of things Is that she just needs to leave me alone And let me be And get on with my life And if you're watching this Please just leave me alone Go find a man that wants you and gonna hold you down and get me look after you. Like you're a whole mum. Like look after your youth. Like give your youth that full attention. Stop messaging me. Messaging me paragraph after paragraph after paragraph after paragraph. I wish I could show you guys all the messages she sent, sends me and how she sends me them. Look, even though actually no, let me not even ring S bands. I ring any of my friends, I'll tell you, yeah. He's got a stalker, she's crazy. Yeah, as I said, there's uh, there's nothing left for me to do except for me to keep blocking her snaps and just keep airing her, which is what I do at all times. They're all the stuff I do. So, yeah, man, but it's mad. But, yeah, the main reason of this whole thing is just to make sure that everybody's on point. So, yeah, man, it's mad to say, like, to think that she's been stalking all this time.
Kill me the gang, your boys in the studio. Long time I ain't been here properly, you know. But yeah, I'm just in the studio chilling. About to make another banger for you guys. Hope you guys have been enjoying the music. If you're really supporting the music and supporting the grind, I appreciate you. Now I just want to talk about something quickly about my music. Is that um, when it comes to my music, my music is mainly about me, what I've been through. Shit, I won't sit down and talk about on YouTube as it's not like I want sympathy for anything. Do you know what I mean? It's just a life that I've been through and I want people to understand. If you can relate to my music, then big you up. And the people that can't relate to my music, it's for you to have an understanding of the situation. Do you get it? I've seen like, I might see like one or two people say, oh, your music's shit or whatever. It's like, you're not just telling me my music's shit. You're telling me what I've been through in my life is shit. Like my life is basically nothing. That's basically what you're telling me. It's deeper than you telling me my music's shit because I'm not making, it's not like I'm making a party song for everyone to enjoy and party to. And you told me that shit, then I wouldn't give a fuck. Do you get me? But you're telling me you don't give a shit. You're telling me I'm shit. Music that of shit that I've been through. Like, what? What? What did I do wrong? I didn't word it the way you want me to word it, or what? I didn't talk about certain things. Like, what is it? Do you get it? Or you're just a complete hater. Or you literally have been through nothing in life. You have no understanding to what I've been through, and you have no understanding to and knowledge that what I'm saying is real and shit that people really go through day to day which means you're just selfish you get it you're just all about yourself so anyway let me just get into it that yeah so i make music for you to enjoy i make music because it's something i've been through and it's real street shit like real street shit like i'm trying to claim the voice of the street so i'm going to keep giving that music keep working hard i've got bangers as well i've got tunes you can jump about to and all that you get me they're all going to come everything's coming everything's a build-up i don't give my best out i'm not going to just say here you go here's the best song i have no I'm gonna give you a build up. I see everyone commenting saying, every time you're dropping a new song, it's getting better. Not being cocky or nothing, but I know that because I'm putting it out in that order. Do you get it? I know that. Every time I make a new song, it's better. That's the whole point of working hard and sticking to what you love. Do you get it? So, yeah, man. I'm at the studio. <sighs> Just make another banger. Appreciate you all, man. Love. Stick to your dreams. Dream big. So, a side of you I don't recognize. And every time you said you had me, you was telling me lies. All this money made these bad bitches wanna show love. Every time I ever needed you, you never showed up. I'm in the city in the foreign and I'm doing donuts. Say I'm famous, taking pictures and they want them closer. Mm. And I come back for you, my nigga, you got bad trace. If I see the blue lights, I end up in the car chase. Every time I think about my show, it makes my heart ache. If you could look into my soul, you see the heart break. Granny tried to get me to church before she died. Sometimes I'll be feeling her presence. She alive sometimes.